One of the most puzzling features discovered by Messenger are Mercury's hollows. These small, bright depressions are scattered across the planet's surface and appear to be relatively young, geologically speaking. The hollows are thought to form when volatile elements within Mercury's crust are exposed to intense heat and radiation, causing them to sublimate, or turn directly from a solid into a gas. This process leaves behind the distinctive hollows, which continue to intrigue scientists. These hollows are unlike anything seen on other planets or moons in our solar system, making them one of Mercury's most enigmatic features. Researchers believe they may provide clues about the composition of Mercury's crust and the planet's ongoing geological activity. In recent years, scientists have speculated that Mercury's extreme conditions might have led to the formation of diamonds on its surface. The planet's crust is rich in carbon, and its history of intense asteroid impacts could create the high pressures needed to transform this carbon into diamonds. If this hypothesis proves true, it would make Mercury a treasure trove of extraterrestrial diamonds, though extracting them would be nearly impossible given the planet's harsh environment. As the European and Japanese space agency's Bepi Colombo mission approaches its destination, scientists are eagerly awaiting new data about Mercury's hidden depths. Equipped with advanced instruments, Bepi Colombo will study the planet's magnetic field, surface composition, and internal structure in unprecedented detail. This mission aims to answer some of the lingering questions about Mercury's formation and evolution, including the mystery of its oversized core and its unique geological features. Mercury may be the smallest planet in our solar system, but it plays a crucial role in helping us understand planetary science. Its extreme environment, unusual core, and surprising geological activity challenge long-held assumptions about how planets form and evolve. By studying Mercury, scientists can gain insights into the processes that shape not only our solar system but also exoplanetary systems beyond. As Bepi Colombo prepares to reveal even more about this enigmatic world, one thing is certain, Mercury still has many secrets to share. Whether it's uncovering new evidence of volcanic activity, exploring its mysterious hollows, or solving the puzzle of its magnetic field, the smallest planet continues to surprise and fascinate us. Who knows what other discoveries await in the shadowy depths of Mercury's craters and the blazing heat of its sunlit surface? Mercury's mysteries aren't just for scientists. This tiny world captures the imagination of anyone who dreams of space. How can a planet so small be so strange? Let's dive deeper into Mercury's story, a tale of fiery days, icy nights, and a history written in craters. Mercury's origins might hold the key to understanding why it's so different from other planets. Scientists theorize that Mercury began as a larger planet but suffered a colossal collision early in its history. This catastrophic event could have stripped away much of its mantle and crust, leaving behind the dense, iron-rich core we see today. But is this explanation enough? Some models suggest that Mercury's core might not solely result from a hit-and-run event. Instead, it could be the product of unique conditions in the early solar system. Mercury formed closest to the Sun, in a region dominated by intense solar radiation and magnetic forces. Could these forces have shaped its composition? Imagine witnessing the early solar system's chaos, massive collisions, magnetic storms, and molten worlds cooling into solid planets. Could Mercury have emerged from this fiery dance as an anomaly, a planet forged under extreme conditions? Mercury's core isn't just unusually large, it's unusually mysterious. Data from the Messenger mission revealed that Mercury's core accounts for 85% of its radius, a staggering proportion compared to Earth's 55%. But why is Mercury's core so massive? One theory involves a unique differentiation process. As Mercury cooled, heavier materials like iron sank to the center, forming the core, while lighter materials floated outward. But Mercury's core isn't entirely solid. It's partially molten, creating a dynamic environment that powers its weak magnetic field. Could Mercury's core still be active today? Some scientists believe that slow cooling might generate heat-driven currents, maintaining its magnetic dynamo. These currents, flowing through molten iron, produce the planet's magnetic field, a field unlike any other in the solar system. At first glance, Mercury's surface resembles the moon's, a barren, cratered wasteland. But dig deeper, and you'll uncover a landscape filled with surprises. 
volcanoes once roared across Mercury's surface, spilling lava that reshaped the terrain. Vast plains of hardened lava, called smooth plains, cover large portions of the planet. These plains tell a story of a geologically active past when Mercury's interior was hot enough to fuel volcanic eruptions. One of Mercury's most intriguing surface features is the presence of hollows. These bright, irregular depressions appear scattered across the planet. They might be formed by the sublimation of volatile materials, substances that vaporize directly from solid to gas, exposing Mercury's crust to space weathering. The hollow's existence raises tantalizing questions, what volatile materials could survive on a planet so close to the sun? Could they hint at Mercury's unique formation or perhaps an unknown process shaping its surface? Mercury's day is unlike any other. Its spin-orbit resonance, rotating three times for every two orbits around the sun, creates bizarre phenomena. Imagine standing on Mercury's surface. The sun rises slowly, appears to stop, reverses its path, and then resumes its forward journey. This peculiar solar dance is a direct result of Mercury's gravitational relationship with the Sun. But why did Mercury end up in this unique resonance? Scientists believe that over billions of years, the Sun's tidal forces slowed Mercury's rotation. Eventually, the planet settled into a stable 3 to 2 resonance, a delicate balance between its spin and orbit. Mercury experiences some of the most extreme temperature variations in the solar system. During the day, the sun's unrelenting heat pushes surface temperatures to a blistering 430 degrees Celsius, 806 degrees Fahrenheit. At night, with no atmosphere to retain heat, temperatures plummet to minus 180 degrees Celsius, minus 292 degrees Fahrenheit. This stark contrast creates a planet of fire and ice. Could materials on Mercury's surface endure such extremes? Surprisingly, yes. Mercury's surface rocks and minerals are uniquely adapted to these conditions, forming a crust that withstands solar radiation and thermal stress. One of the most surprising discoveries on Mercury is the presence of water ice in permanently shadowed craters near its poles. How can water ice exist so close to the sun? These craters, shielded from sunlight, remain perpetually cold, providing a refuge for ice and possibly other volatile substances. Scientists believe this ice may have been delivered by comets or formed through chemical interactions on Mercury's surface. But could this ice hold even more secrets? Imagine extracting ancient ice from Mercury's poles. What if it contains clues about the early solar system or the building blocks of life? Mercury doesn't have a traditional atmosphere. Instead, it has an exosphere, a thin layer of atoms and particles constantly escaping into space. This exosphere is replenished by solar wind, micrometeorite impacts, and radioactive decay. Among its components are sodium, potassium, and even traces of water vapor. But how does this fragile exosphere survive the sun's intense radiation? Mercury's magnetic field provides some protection, deflecting solar particles and preserving this delicate balance. Could studying Mercury's exosphere help us understand how atmospheres evolve, or how they vanish entirely? The joint European and Japanese Bepi Colombo mission, set to arrive at Mercury in 2025, promises to revolutionize our understanding of the planet. Equipped with advanced instruments, Bepi Colombo will study Mercury's surface, interior, and magnetic field in unprecedented detail. It aims to answer lingering questions. 1. What caused Mercury's unusual density? 2. How did its magnetic field develop? 3. Could Mercury's poles harbor ancient materials from the early solar system? Mercury's story is far from complete. As we uncover more secrets, new questions emerge. 1. Could Mercury's core reveal insights into Earth's own interior? 2. How might Mercury's exosphere inform our search for atmospheres on exoplanets? 3. What if Mercury isn't an anomaly, but the key to understanding planets close to their stars? Let's discuss these possibilities and explore.